Hello guys and girls, Raj here, back with another video. In this short video, we are going to discuss another reInvent 2020 feature. Uh, this is a very cool feature. Uh, so this is about Amazon Code Guru. Uh, so Amazon Code Guru is a service uh, which can analyze your code driven by machine learning and then find out uh, recommendations, uh, improvements. It can say, hey, this, this piece of code is expensive. Uh, and then it, it gives you some suggestions. So there have been a lot of uh, enhancements on CodeGuru and now this reInvent and now Amazon CodeGuru Profiler adds memory profiling and uh, heap summary. Uh, before we jump into the console and do hands-on, uh, one request, if you find this video useful, uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to the magical 10,000 subscriber number and then I plan to do a live stream answering your questions on career, jobs, etc. All right, with that, uh, let's jump into the console and do it hands-on and it will make more sense rather than going through a bunch of slides. So let's go over the flow real quick. Uh, so the way Amazon CodeGuru works is CodeGuru has two components. One is CodeGuru Reviewer and another is CodeGuru Profiler. CodeGuru Reviewer uh, reviews your code with actionable recommendations. We're gonna see this part in action. Uh, as well as CodeGuru Profiler, uh, it can tell you which lines of codes are expensive and maybe you should uh, change those. And even after you deploy, uh, you can run and improve those code using CodeGuru Profiler. Uh, so, all right, let's jump into the CodeGuru uh, console. Okay, I'm in AWS console. Uh, this is the CodeGuru console. I'm gonna click this uh, hamburger menu. And let's start with the reviewer. Uh, let's say you have some code that you just written uh, and then you want to uh, make sure that everything is good. So for this demo, I'm going to use one of my GitHub repository. Uh, this Lambda repository, it has a bunch of Lambda code and then I'm gonna ask CodeGuru to go analyze this. So going back to CodeGuru dashboard, uh, so click Associated Repositories, and then click Associate Repository, and then I'm going to choose GitHub, and then it's gonna ask you your GitHub user ID password, um, but for me it's already saved, so it's connected to my GitHub account, and then I'm going to select the Lambda repository from there, click associate. Okay, so the repository is associated. Now click code reviews on the left, click repository analysis, uh, and then it already ran the analysis. So you can see there are three recommendations. To see the recommendations, uh, click this link, uh, scroll down, and you can see it says with the line number and the code that we detected an accept clause that is not necessary uh, because it catches and re-throws an exception without doing anything with it. It's pretty cool. So see, and then if you can, if you click it, it's gonna take you to that GitHub code as well. So, and highlights it. See, it says you are doing this except, but you are not doing anything really, just raising an exception. So I feel like this is very helpful uh, because if you have hundreds and hundreds lines of code, sometimes it's very difficult to review it manually. Uh, you know, someone does a code review. So if they run this uh, CodeGuru tool, it kind of gives you a lot of things. Also, when CodeGuru was released, it was just for Java, but now it supports uh, Python as well. Uh, so you can see my, my lambdas are all written in Python, uh, so it can go and analyze that. Okay, so that's in short is the code review. And now let's go check the profiling. So under profiler, you have to set up a little bit, like you have to create a profiling group and say what kind of EC2s you are running, uh, because it's, it, it will try to predict the most expensive lines uh, with the actual uh, cost and everything. Uh, so it is a little bit more set up uh, required. Uh, but once it is done, it can do the profiling and then you can see for this uh, demo profiling group, it has four recommendations. Okay, so if I click this, for this demo, the average fleet size is selected at uh, 2001 EC2 instances. So it's gonna take that uh, to calculate all the cost and everything. 
Uh, you can see it is showing CPU summary, CPU utilization, a time spent executing code, and the heap users. This is the new feature uh, announced this reInvent. Uh, values for the last full 12 hours and relative to current JVM maximum of uh, 500 megabyte, and it shows you the heap usage and the peak heap usage. It can also visualize and give cool graphs on the CPU usage for different part of the code. And then for the heap usage as well, you can visualize heap for different parts of your code. And you can scroll down and get some more details on kilobyte, how much memory, average use, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, so if I go down, so there are four recommendation. Uh, so let's say recreation of AWS SDK, repeated Jackson, excessive debug, uh, so let's click view report and you could say it's quite detailed. It says your profile spent 18.57% of the runnable times on this. Estimated cost of executing this frame is around 400 bucks a year. And it also gives suggested resolution steps. And then where was this found? Uh, the sample code, this is actually running on a sample demo code provided by AWS. Uh, this AWS Code Guru Profiler demo application, that's where I'm showing it from. Uh, but you can run it on your code as well, but you have to set up the profiler. Similarly, the next one, excessive debug and trace logging, gives the cost, gives the suggested resolution step. So this is like pretty, pretty cool stuff. So uh, finishing this with Amazon Code Guru pricing. Uh, so there's a free tier, 90 day free trial. Uh, and then it is based on the amount of code it analyzes. Uh, so for full repository analysis that we did, uh, 50 cents per 100 lines of code analyzed up to uh, one, one and a half million uh, lines of code per month, et cetera, et cetera. You can check it out. And another thing to note that Amazon Code Guru Profiler can also profile AWS Lambda, like the application I just showed is based on EC2 and those costs or based on you have to tell what kind of EC2 is running and all that stuff, uh, but, can, but it can also do cost analysis on AWS Lambda. Uh, so that's pretty neat. So I highly recommend you guys and girls to go and try it out, especially this uh, Code Guru reviewer. Uh, so sometimes you think maybe your code is not good enough to publish in GitHub, run it through Code Guru reviewer and then it's gonna tell you uh, like what things you should change based on the patterns detected and analyzed across the findings of all other repositories. So this is learning machine learning on the back end. Uh, so I feel this is a very, very cool feature. All right, guys and girls, uh, like I said, super short video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you, if you found it useful, uh, click the subscribe button, comment it, let me know what questions you have, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.